weight sine theta. Negative weight sine theta. numbers are so that we've got this plugged in here. As in figure out, just find labels to them yeah. or calculate? Calculate, but yeah, what does that equal? What is that? <coughs> I'll do this one for you. I want to go over yeah. like, my number and I'll see if I can figure it out. I'm sitting over the calculator. I'm putting it in. Oh, okay. There it is. What the heck? Pardon? I mean, one second. Let me just make sure I put it in right. Wow. Now that doesn't help. Oh, ah. I got up. x equals 1.96. You have x equals, I think you jumped a couple steps there. Yeah, okay. So did you just plug that whole thing in and say solve for x? Yeah, that's what I did. But don't you have to uh, isolate just, I think it really made our life better. Don't you have to isolate x to do that? Yeah, well, she's using uh, something which will deprive you of the, the need to think. Yes. I mean, it's the best calculator ever. Okay, so 50 times 9.8 sine 53 is 194.0. Wait, I take everything back. It's 391. Yeah, that would make more sense. 0.3. And then. I'm getting 88.46 on the second term. Well, technically 47 if we're rounding. Yeah, I got the same thing. Alright. We have this x minus 10 squared. What is that squared? That means you multiply the term by a term and not just x squared minus one. You are correct. Thus, it's x squared minus 20 squared plus 100. Minus 20x. Plus 20x, which is just 10x squared minus 200x plus 1,000. Yeah. All right, so over here, 
we're somewhere a little bit above 300x. Uh, so five. So we get a 2.8. You want us to check? Oh yeah. wait. Well, I can do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, you were just checking. I thought you were checking the. the All right. Thing. So. So three o two point eight six x is equal to ten x squared minus two hundred x plus one thousand. Now what? Subtract. Subtract and do the quadratic formula. Subtract what? 302.86x. So if 0 is equal to 10x squared minus 502.86x plus 1,000. Yeah. So x equals uh, the 502.86 plus or minus the square root of 502.86 squared well, minus 4 times 10 times 1,000 over 2 times 10. Multiple that out. 502.86 squared is 252,868 blah blah blah. Minus the 40,000. Minus 40. Two twelve eight six eight. Okay. Four six one point three seven six. So we're going to have two answers. Subtracted or plus? That was addition. Plus. And then the other one is 2.07. to change yeah it's x minus 10 so 38.2 meters or delta x is negative 7.93 Well, we, the way we define our delta x, since we said 10 plus delta x is equal to x, uh, that would imply that delta x is positive down the rank. Right, so negative is this way. Yeah. So pi can't be negative. Well, pi can't be negative, it just happens before you start zero. Wow. Now, this is the obvious, hopefully obvious that that's the correct answer. But the other one does have a physical meaning because we're looking for a point at which the energy is the same minus how much you lose because of friction. The negative displacement there means that this spring <coughs> is getting stretched. So there is a point here where the spring is Stretch the mass is attached to it, and it would have the same amount of energy. The trouble is that assumes that you lost friction going from here to here, and it ignores the entire path. So, anyway, 
there's the answer. That's just as complex as these get so far. Questions? Want to talk after pause? Yes. Cool. Yeah, let's make sure you talk after pause. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is chapter seven. Yes. Set seven is due, and then eleven seven. We'll do the homework quiz on chapter seven. 